Hello people, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stella. Okay, so today we're going to be cutting and sewing a kaftan for a lady. So I would like you to subscribe, like, share, you know, let's interact um, in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I'll be there to answer all your, all your questions, okay? All right, let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so for this, for this kaftan, um, the basic measurements that we need, we need her shoulder, we need her shoulder, And her shoulder is 16.5 inches. We need her boss round. And her boss round is 42. We need her, her waist length. Her waist length is 17.5. We need her waist round. Her waist round is 37 okay then we need her her hip round her hip round is 43 then we need the dress length the kaftan length let's call it dress length is 56 okay so these are the basic measurements we need shoulder bust round waist length waist round hip round and dress length okay so let's um, jump right into it so we'll start our marking but we'll start um we'll first mark the back okay so there's a reason why i prefer to start marking the back um before we get to the front okay so for the back we're going to leave our one inch um, zip allowance we're going to mark it all the way down her shoulder is 16.5 and um, 16.5 divided by 2 that's 8.25 but remember we're marking the back and then all our markings are going to start after this one inch zip allowance so all our markings are going to start here from here this way okay so her shoulder is 16.5 divided by 2 that's 8.25 we'll mark it plus half inch for joining we'll mark that too then the neck width is four inches her neck depth for the back is 1.5 so we'll mark 1.5 here then we'll connect you extend it into the zip allowance like so okay now we're going to slope the back with one inch we'll slope the back with one inch then we're going to connect it to the neck width okay so we'll connect it to the neck width like so then um to get your arm hole line you're going to do your boss round divided by six plus 1.5 now her boss round is 42 42 divided by six is 67 okay so and then plus um plus 1.5 that's 8.5 but in this case her bust length is 11.5 so i don't want it to get that close now i'm simply going to use her bust round divided by six plus one and that will give us eight so i'll come down and make a dot on eight remember we did her shoulder divided by two plus half and what we have here is 8.75 now you come down here remember after the one inch mark and mark your 8.75 you mark your 8.75 so you're basically remarking your shoulder plus allowance here so that's 8.75 that we have here so we're, we're going to connect so we're going to connect okay so this is what we have um remember i said that our ample line is eight inches that i want to use i don't want it to get so um down okay okay so the, here is the eight inches 
Now, um, in order for us to be sure that we're working on a straight line, I like to go back to our starting point to mark, to measure up till that 18 inch line we marked. And what we have here is nine. So I'm simply going to place and mark our nine inches just so we're, we're working with the straight line. That's the whole essence, okay? So I'm making a mark on the nine inch and I'm simply going to connect with the straight line. Okay. Now, on this um, chest line, you can also call this the chest line. On this chest line, you're going to do her boss round divided by four. Her boss round is 42. 42 divided by four, that will give you 10.5. We make a mark. Remember, all our measurements are after this one inch line. That's where all our measurements are starting. And we're working on the back piece. Okay? So, 42 divided, her chest, her boss round is 42. 42 divided, divided by four, that will give you 10.5. So, you mark it here. And you add two inches allowance, okay? So, we've done that. Now, let's work on the armhole so we're, or we know we're done with this side. Um, the entire armhole length is 8. Half of it is 4. Now, at that half, you're going by, at that point, you're going by half inch. Okay? So, we're going in by half inch here. And then we're connecting. Then we're connecting it back to this point here. To the actual boss round divided by four. Okay, so that's it. Now let's work on the the other side, the lower part. All your all your markings are starting from this our starting point. Now from there you place your tape. Our um her waist length is seventeen point five. You place. And you make a mark there. Then her hip length is 26. You make a mark there as well. Then the full length of the dress, the full length of the dress is 56. Okay? So we make a mark at the 56. Then we're adding 2 inches allowance. For folding, we we'll repeat the same thing here. Her waist length is seventeen point five. Her hip length is twenty six. Full length, her full length is fifty six. Plus two inches for folding, that's fifty eight. Now we are going to connect all of them with a straight line. Okay, so I like to label for clarity. Now, this line we said we can call it our chest line. Then this line, this is her waist line. Let's call it, let's represent it with W. Then this is her hip line. And this is the full length. And this is the allowance. Okay, now let's proceed. Remember on the chest line, we've marked her boss round, and her boss round is 42. 42 divided by 4, that's 10.5. And we added 2 inches allowance. Now on her waist round, her waist round is 37. And 37 divided by 4, that's 9.25. Plus 2 inches allowance. Now we'll take her hip round. Her hip round is 43. 43 divided by 4, that's 10.75. We'll mark it here. And then we add our 2 inches allowance as well. Okay? Now, on the full length, the full length here, what you're going to do is to come back here and you measure everything you have here inclusive of the allowance. And what we have here is 12.75. So you come back here. Let's just make it 13. Let's round it up to 13. So you come down here on the allowance 
and you mark the 13 and then we are adding 3.5 inches okay then we're going to connect we're going to connect all of them with a straight line okay so we're going to connect all of them with a straight line remember this is the back we're connecting all the allowances together so the allowance we have here you know my client doesn't want the dress to be too full so but for the a-line allowance you can add between four to six inches but what we have here is just 3.5 and and that's it okay now let's work on the bow for the back for the back bulge what we do is this is the waistline remember remember our labeling what we have here this is the waistline and on the waistline you come in by 0 0.0.6 0 I wanted to use 0 0.75 but let's use 0 0.6 you come in by 0 0.6 and then we're going to connect from here to to here and then we're also connecting from here to the hip line okay so let's do that let's connect to the hip line first remember our one inch zip allowance so this is going to take care of the bulging of the zip at the back this is what we have here then we're connecting from here to this point okay and here we have it this is it for the back so we won't cut yet until we cut the front okay one last thing we're going to add our half inch for joining on the shoulder you mark your half inch for the joining of the shoulder and you connect all right so here we have it but we won't cut until we do the front okay i will explain why all right okay before we get to the front at the at the allowance we'll go up by 1.5 inches then we measure the entire weight after the one inch zip allowance we're measuring we're measuring and what we have here complete um is 16.5 now let's take half of it just fold your tape and make a mark at that point okay now let's remember we went up by 1.5 so let's let's just connect with your with your free hand okay so here we have it this is it for for the back but we won't cut first until we work on the on the front okay so we'll be right back with the front piece all right so um you're welcome back let's start with the front piece remember um we said that her neck width is four inches shoulder is 16.5 over two that's 8.25 plus half inch for joining now her neck depth for the front is four inches as well okay so let's connect okay so this is the this is the neck depth now um we are now here the reason why i said we shouldn't cut the front and the back now we're sloping the front with 1.5 remember we sloped the back with one inch we're sloping the front with 1.5 so you connect so to the neck width now let's bring the back okay so this is the back this is the back piece here okay so um for the front we marked our neck width 
then we sloped our shoulder with 1.5 remember i told us that we will not cut the back until uh, we get to the front okay now we are here so to get your your armhole line what you're going to do is remember our front our back um what we have here to the chest line this is eight inches then you get back to the starting point what we have here is nine inches so what you're going to do that's it for the back actually so what you're going to do now is from this starting point you mark you make a mark at your nine inches you place and make a mark at your nine inches okay then you make a mark at your nine inches here then you connect you connect with a straight line so this is our chest line for the front and that's it we don't need the back anymore okay so so we have our chest line our chest line for the front here so we'll come back our shoulder remember her shoulder is 16.5 so half of it is 8.25 plus half for joining so that's 8.75 so we'll come to this chest line and mark our 8.75 here we'll make a mark and we'll connect we'll connect it with a straight line okay so this is it now her bust round is 42 and 42 divided by 4 that's 10.5 We make a mark at the 10.5 then we're adding two inches allowance so this is it now let's get to let's um, draw our armhole curve from here to here to get the middle simply fold your tape fold your tape into two make a mark at that point then you come in by 0 0.75 for the front 0 0.75 for the front then use your ruler and connect with a straight line to that half inch point to the 0 0.75 inches um inch point then from this her actual bust round divided by four this mark here we're connecting with a curve to this 0 0.75 so So this is it so we are done here for the front now um her waist length is 17.5 we'll make a mark here her hip length is 26 we'll make a mark the full length of the dress the full length of the dress is 56 remove the tape we make a mark at the 56 then we're adding two inches for folding so we'll come to this side and mark the same her waist length is 17.5 her hip length is 26 her full length is 56 Plus two inches for folding that's 58 then we're going to connect all these lines with a straight line so let's label this is the waistline this is the hip the hip line this is the full length and the allowance okay so let's continue our marking her waist round is 37 37 divided by 4 that's 9.25 so you place here and you mark 9.25 plus 2 inches allowance then her hip her hip round is 43 43 divided by 4 that's 10.75 plus 2 inches allowance now we're going to connect 
the lines. So to get the, the extent of the flare, you're going to measure the entire thing that you have here. What we have here is 12.75. But for the back, I said we'll round it up to 13. Now you come to the allowance and you mark 13 inches. Then we're adding 3.5 inches as our as our flare. That's the extent of the fullness we want it. So this is 3.5 inches. So we're going to connect. We're connecting it from the heat line to the allowance. That's it for the drafting, guys. Remember, there's no sharp point in our body. So you're going to blend all your lines so they don't appear sharp. All right, so we're going to add half inch for the joining of the shoulder, just like we did for the back. You go up by half inch. You go up by half inch here. And then you connect. Connect with a straight line and extend your, your armhole line upwards. And that's it, guys. Okay, so at the hem, remember for the back, we went up by 1.5. We'll do the same as well from here. Come up by 1.5 inches. And then we'll take the full, what we have here is 16.5. Then let's take the middle. Simply fold your tape into two and then make a mark at that point. Then from the 1.5 inches you marked, gently connect it to this place with a curve and that's it. Okay. Now I want us to tighten the neckline so that it doesn't gape. Let's tighten the necklines so that they don't give. We'll do the same thing for the back as well. This is optional, but this is what I prefer doing all the time. You know, so that whenever, even if the client bends, um, you're not going to see her bust. Okay, so from your neck width here, we just mark 0 0.5. That's why I'm using a different color chop. You mark 0 0.5 here, and then we're connecting it from here to here. Okay. Like I said, this is optional. We're connecting it from here to here. This is us tightening the neckline. Okay, so it doesn't um so it doesn't gape. Now um we are we're also going to add our our half inch for joining. Okay, now the half inch for joining is here. So we're also going to go up by the half inch you mark your half inch as well so we're connecting from here to here so this is our new our new neckline all right so we're going to cut we're going to be cutting on the blue line okay let me bring the back so we're going to be doing the same we're going to be doing the same too for the back, but let's just go ahead and cut because we're actually done. Okay, so let's cut. All right, so here we have it. Um, I like to notch from the waistline. And on the hip line okay so this is it for the front the front piece is still on fold now let's cut the back piece so the back piece we're doing the same thing um, at the neck point for the back let's go down by 0.25 let's use 0 0.25 for the back we're using 0.25 to slope the neck we're using 0.25 to slope the back neck, then you mark it, 
I will connect it back to this original napkin so just like this then we'll measure half inch up for the joining which is seen here then from this new um, sloped neckline we'll mark our half inch connect and we'll connect back Okay, so this is it. We're also marking on the blue line. Now, so let's start from here to mark, to cut. So here we have it. Then we open up. And that's it. Okay. So it's time for us to transfer to fabric and cut. And pin the lining on the fabric and cut. This is it for the back, for the front, sorry. So let's cut the back piece on the main fabric. Now we're going to open the center back. Alright, so here we have it. This is the back. So we're done. Now for the lining. I want the lining to be shorter than the main fabric. I shortened the lining by 5 inches. Okay, so let's mark our sleeve. The sleeve length is 12. It's 12 plus um, 1 inch allowance, it's 13. Okay, so we mark her, her cap height. To get the cap height, we're going to do her boss round. Boss round divided by 12 plus 1, and her boss round is 42. So it will be 42 divided by 12 plus 1. That will give you 4.5. So we make a mark. 4.5 and we'll connect it okay so now here to get the to get the armhole curve we're simply going to do her boss round divided by 6 plus 1.5 <clears throat> sorry and her boss round is 42 42 divided by 6 plus 1.5 that will give you 8.5 now we're going to mark, make a dot at the 8.5, then we'll add 1.5 inches allowance. Inches allowance. Now, um, let's get to the full length. The sleeve round is 13, so that's 6.5. Then we're also adding 1.5 allowance. Then we're going to connect. Let's use a ruler. We're going to connect. Okay. Now, so let's get to the to the cap height. Now here, um. We are first going to mark um, two inches. Then you make a mark at four inches. Okay. Now at the four inches, you come down by one inch. So we're going to connect from this two inches mark down to here. Then 
to this point okay so with your free hand we're going to connect from here down to this point okay I like to use pencil so that when I'm done I will, I'll make a proper mark now let's place on the fabric and cut so the next thing for us to do is to mark out our one inch zip allowance at the center back so we'll mark it from top to the bottom then connect it with a ruler okay so after marking out our one inch zip allowance at the center back next thing for us to do is to mark one inch um size seam remember when we are cutting we added two inches sewing allowance now we are going to um, mark out one inch then you connect with a ruler um that's where we're going to be sewing on when it's time to join the size seams okay so after that you measure out your pocket we're going to be adding a pocket to this kaftan the um the pocket width is going to be seven inches so you measure it out um you're going to simply go down from from the from the waist length remember her waist length is 17.5 so you're going to just come down by half inch after that 17.5 then you mark the seven inch pocket width then um after marking you give it a notch just so it will be easier for you to recognize when it's time to fix your pocket okay so after that you mark your half inch um, shoulder joining then you mark your one inch side seam on the front piece um, then you connect with a ruler I like to mark all these things out so that when you're joining to be straightforward okay so after that you mark your pocket width remember we said we're going to use seven inch um, seven inches pocket width so you mark that I remember um, we came down from her from her waist length half inch so from there you just measure your seven inches then you make a notch there so that it will be easier for you when it's time to fix the pocket as well okay so let's cut out our pocket the length of the pocket is 10 inches the width of the pocket is um eight inches so um, you're going to just um, mark this out then cut out you're going to be cutting out four pieces two for each pocket okay so um, let's start with the joining now for the center back the first thing you're going to do is get your zip place um, then you measure and mark where you want the zip to stop then you start um, sewing okay so you sew a normal stitch up till that point that you marked for the zip to stop then from that point upwards you're going to sew a loose stitch okay then you sew a loose stitch from there so you're also going to do the same thing on the lining you place your zip and then you mark where the zip is going to stop then you sew a normal tight stitch from the hem of the dress up till that point where you want the zip to stop then from there upwards you're going to continue with a loose stitch okay so i went ahead to iron open our seam our center back seam that we had earlier sewn for the zip so i ironed it open both the fabric and on the lining as well then i pinned our pocket pieces on the front piece and on the back piece So I went ahead to open, to cut open the stitches that we had earlier sewn, the temporal stitch, the loose stitch that we did from where the zip is supposed to stop. So I opened it. I did the same on the fabric and on the lining. Now, the next thing is for us to, to fix our zip. We're going to first fix the zip on just the fabric. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fix our zip only on the back fabric at the center back. Now, once we are done, we'll pick up our lining, then use it to turn the neckline and the zip area of the main fabric. 
Remember, we're only turning the neckline and the zip area of the back fabric. We're using the lining to do this turning. Okay. Okay. So once we are done turning the back neckline and the zip with the lining, we'll go ahead, pick up our front fabric and the front lining. Now, you're, you're simply going to mark 0 0.5 inch on the neckline. You're going to use the lining of the front to turn the main fabric. Remember that we have turned the back. Now it's time for us to turn the front. So we're going to mark 0 0.5 inch around the neckline, then use the lining to turn it. Okay, so after we turn the necklines, it's time for us to join the shoulders. So you're, so you're going to pick up um, the shoulder of the front piece and the corresponding shoulder of the back piece. Then we use um, 0 0.5 inch that we had earlier marked to join. Okay, so we join the um, the two um, shoulders, then we take it to the pressing table and press open with our pressing iron. Okay, so after joining the two shoulders, I went ahead to press them flat with our iron um, so that they'll be very smooth. Now, after um, the ironing, the next thing for us to do is to pin down our pockets properly this time. Then we're going to be pinning um, each piece of pocket to, um, to each side. So on the front piece, we're going to pin um, two, one on the left and one on the right. So we're going to be pinning the pocket on the right side, facing the right side of the fabric. So you pin and then after that, we're going to take them to the sewing machine and join with 0 0.5. So we're going to sew each pocket piece with 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so we're done fixing the pockets. Next thing for us to do is to join the side seams. Remember our side seams that we had earlier marked. So this is it. We're going to turn to the wrong side. Okay, so um, we are done sewing down the pockets. So the next thing for us to do now is to join the side seams. So we turn it to the wrong side. Then you just flip the lining um, one side. Then we're going to sew. Remember our initial one inch mark that we did. Now we're going to sew on those lines. We're going to sew this way, then into the pocket, this way, and then back. Then we'll continue. Then we'll continue. We'll sew it straight down. <clears throat> So we'll sew it straight down till we get to the hem. We're going to do the same for the lining as well. We're going to also pick up the lining. So we've all marked. Remember when I was telling us that we need to mark um, the side seams so it will be easier. So we're also sewing on the side seams of the back. Of the lining remember so this is the lining you f you hold the two sides of the lining so, um, together then we're sewing this way so the hem as well like that we do the same on the other side and we'll be right back so we're done joining the side seams um i also went ahead to press open the seam allowances both on the fabric and on the lining okay so this is the front and um, the back as well so the next thing for us to do now is to fix the sleeves, the sleeves, okay? Okay, so this is the sleeve. Um, I've placed the right size facing each other. That's the right side of the fabric to so the right side of the lining. Now I went ahead to mark 0 0.5 inch there. So we're going to join both the fabric and the lining there with 0 0.5 inch. Then um, after we join, I'll go ahead and press open using our pressing iron 
so you press um, that line open then the next thing is for us to fold and then we make our marking remember our allowance of 1.5 so we're going to mark um, the 1.5 inch the 1.5 inch is there so we'll connect with our chalk Okay, so and we're going to sew on that line where um you you're going to do the same on the other sleeve as well you mark and then you sew on that same line so we'll be right back okay so the sleeve is ready um i've turned and then i also went ahead to press it so that it will look um all smooth and clean now the next thing for us to do is to fix it into the armhole now we are simply going to align the the seams together the joinings then you secure it firmly with a pin then we're going to sew around the armhole then we're going to repeat the same for the other sleeve as well okay all right guys so we are done um i went ahead to to hem the lining i've hemmed the lining and then i'll also go ahead to hem the the main fabric so i'll hem it remember we left um two inches folding allowance i'm going to use that two inches to fold here the hem and um i fixed the sleeves so that's it i also went ahead to cut i also went ahead to cut out these pieces just a patch of the um, flowers so we're going to place you know just like the picture on the thumbnail we'll place you know so I'm still going to cut out more then I will fill up this entire place I'll also cut and then um, place on the sleeves okay so we're going to place them on the sleeves this way okay so we'll place it round and then we're going to stone on it okay and that's a wrap guys thank you for watching um kindly leave your comments in the comment section i will surely respond to them um like share and subscribe okay turn on your notification bell so you'll be among the first to notify once i upload a new video that's it guys bye